Welcome back. Memorial Day is a day to remember those who gave their lives many before we were even born. 30 days ago, our Craig Worth met a soldier from Logan who he has never forgotten. That late soldier was one of the first to hit the beaches on D-Day almost 80 years ago. And in tonight's Worth Watching, the story of a hero, Wallace Macy, and the others who served with him. This was one of the headlines Utahns woke up to 80 years ago. D-Day was on. Utah soldier Wallace Macy did not need a newspaper to tell him. He was there. A famed D-Day photo shows a half-dead soldier crawling up to a piece of metal for cover. Wallace Macy was a long way from Logan, Utah. The first ones that went off that boat were all shot and blowed to pieces. And as long as I was in the water, just my head showing, had no problem. But when I got to where I could start running, and I just run about 50 yards, zigzag, then hit the dirt. That picture that I showed you was the third time I'd hit the dirt, and I was headed for that obstacle because they were just, the bullets were just all around us and losing my buddies right and left. More headlines throughout the month told the story. Private Melvin Cowdell, a Jordan High grad, was one who died a hero among the thousands. Those that are here dead on the beach will stay here, and those that stay here are gonna get dead too. So let's go, and they all started up over this hill over the bluff. I had a lot of time to think. I wasn't gonna be any hero, because the minute you'd raise up, somebody would shoot at you. And you always have to think these were remarkable men, not only foremost because of their courage, but because they operated with such technology that we wouldn't even think of today. No GPSs or no modern communication devices. They were on their own. More papers. And about all that Utahns back here could do was pray. I was so scared and I was soaking wet and it was cold, it was chilly, and I thought to myself, I gotta get back to Logan, do some fishing, do some hunting in the hills, see my friends that had all gone in the service, and see my mother and dad. And these are the things that went through my mind. And probably a lot of heroes in the war but my feeling was a hero did something just out of instinct, and he really didn't think about it, or I don't think he'd have done it. More headlines. May we remember John Allison, who, like Wallace Macy, was from Logan. Wallace Macy left his leg on that beach. He carried a mirror. Shrapnel from a mine hit it instead of his heart. A little distance away was a hedgerow, and I was gonna make it to that hedgerow. So I got up and it fell right on my face. It's then, because I, I was just numb. It's then I realized my leg had been blown off. A lot of headlines 80 years ago. A lot of heroes. A faded article in the Iron County Record reported a Bonnie Daly joined the waves on D-Day in honor of her brother who was missing in action. I asked the doctor what happened to me because I had a big spiker cast on out like this. He says, well, you've lost one. We don't know about the other. I said, you saved me one, and I'll make a go of it. And he made a go of it, never forgetting those who did not come back home. And stand in that cemetery and salute all those buddies of mine that I knew personally and thank them because they gave their life. The ink has faded, and Wallace Macy is now gone too. But let us never forget. Craig Worth, ABC4 News.